All right, we're, we're talking with uh, Edward Benton Benet here down at the Indian Summer Powwow Grounds, and I'm just going to show you a little bit. There's a backdrop here. There's a big sign that says uh, Shingwak Kinomage Wikamek or Kinomage Wikamek. Oh, I got to always say that little end on there. Yeah. Say that again. Tell us a little bit about what that means and what you're involved uh, at uh, your involvement with the Shinkwak uh, Institute College, whatever you want to call it. It's a university. It's a imminent, university. Imminent university. Okay. Tell us just a little bit about what's going on with the university. Well, first of all, uh, the idea of uh, Shinkwak uh, Kinomage coming uh, comes from a dream, a vision that Shinkwak Kuntz had way back in uh, 1834 when he urged uh, the people to build a teaching wigwam for our people wherein our culture, our ways, our language would be merged with, with modern day education. And uh, it's taken over a hundred years to bring that to fruition. And now uh, we are in our third year of actual, actual education uh, programs. And uh, this year we've applied for accreditation with uh, WINHEC, that's the World's Indigenous uh, Nations Higher Education Consortium. And uh, Within, within the next year, by September 2011, we'll be fully accredited uh, as, as serving a, a culture-based Native education program. Where are you located at? Uh, Shinwak is uh, uh, presently operating uh, in, uh, in concert with Algoma University in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. And uh, we are part of that by covenant, by agreement. But, uh, you know, uh, as I say very shortly, within the next five years, uh, Shinwak will be an autonomous, uh, all, all native Anishinaabe controlled university. Tell me a little bit about this individual you talked about. His, his name was and where was he from? Uh, Shinwak Kuns was uh, one of the prominent chiefs of the old Three Fire Society. Uh, he also was a Nea, was a, was a Medewan. Uh, in time, he became a fourth degree Medewan. But he, he's the one that had the original vision of a teaching wigwam. And a teaching wigwam is very close to what uh, other uh, culture based uh, schools like the Red Schoolhouse, uh, uh, what, what that's based on, based on our culture, our spiritual teachings, our language. Uh, especially our values and uh, trying to merge them into today's uh, world, society, and way of doing things. And that was his vision way back there, over a hundred years ago, and that vision uh, dream has been kept alive uh, by the people, largely. And now, uh, luckily and by some uh, stroke of fortune, I, I am the Dean of Native Studies. Red Schoolhouse was in St. Paul, Minnesota. Red Schoolhouse was born under the American Indian Movement and was located in St. Paul, Minnesota uh, in 1971. And tell me a little bit about the difference of the teaching lodge style versus maybe what other people might see as a pure academic, you know, going from class to class. And What's the differences? Well, well uh, you know, structurally, uh, uh, we, we, uh, we endear ourselves to the, to the concept of the teaching circle. The teaching circle meaning that we're all equal in this circle. And that uh, the, the teacher, for instance, uh, I will not allow any of my students to call me Mr. Uh, I'd rather they call me Eddie, Badwevdan. And by the time our course is done, many of them will be calling me uh, their uncle. And, uh, you know, that kind of personal, person to person respect. Uh, that's a principal difference is uh, respect and respect begets respect. And some of the things I might find if I was to attend this university, what kind of classes are we talking about? Well, for instance, uh, social studies, uh, native social studies, uh, which, will, which is the grounding for people who are interested in sociology, for instance. Uh, 
uh, we, we define the Anishinaabe worldview by studying uh, the, the, the old world and its worldviews and how that's come into, uh, into modern society, into, uh, into the contemporary uh, way that we see the world in, uh, in Canada, the United States, and all that's going on. Uh, what did we inherit from that? And then we uh, go to switch to Anishinaabe worldview that there is one creator and the mother is, uh, the mother is the earth of all living things. That's the worldview. And so we, we blend those two things and make the comparisons. Uh, what can we, what can we, uh, what can we uh, value from our worldview? Uh, if our worldview had endured, and we were the dominant society, we would not, we would not have contaminated water to drink today. Uh, we'd not have contaminated air to breathe. Uh, so th those kinds of comparisons. Are you restricted being in ca Canada to uh, Canadian citizens as students or anything like that? Uh, the Algoma Shibaka University is international. Uh, we have students from Africa, from China, from Japan, from the U.S., several reserves in the U.S. Uh, the numbers are predominantly native, but it, but it's it's a good it's a good ethnic international uh, mix. If people were looking to get a hold of you, how would they find the Shingwak uh, uh, University? Do you got a website or a telephone number they could call? Uh, at the bottom of the panel behind us is uh, is the website, uh, and it, uh, I, I can't uh, recite it from here. Uh, but yes, there's a there's a website. We'll go look at that. Uh, you're at Indian Summer in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What do you like about being down on the midway of Indian Summer Festival? Well, having uh, having emceed this uh, powwow here for uh, for several times, I've always liked Milwaukee. I've always liked it, uh, probably because the first time I ever went to university was here, and uh, of course there's been a lot of a lot of activity. I entered the iron, iron workers trade many years ago here in Milwaukee, and so Milwaukee is kind of kind of one of my favorite spots. You know? But uh, Indian Summer Fest is a great it's a great festival, fantastic. I like it. Thanks for joining with us today. Miigwech. We're gonna Miigwech. go get that. We're gonna go see if we can take a peek at that URL real quick. There it is. It says visit us at www.shingwak.com yes. Indeed Summerfest is being brought to you by the Sequoia Research Center, La Couture Band of Lake Superior Ojibwe, Menominee Casino and Resort, the Great Lakes Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission, the College of Menominee Nation, La Couture Ojibwe Schools, Taylor Woodstone of Bloomington, Minnesota, the LCO Community College, the LCO Health Center and Native Design by Dick Mendikowski.